I don't care, Adobe, that you need an update. I don't care. Wait. Oh, oh. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Banner Saga. My name is Josh Goggles. I play video games while wearing goggles that sometimes get annoying and need to be readjusted. But they're adjusted now. I like the hat. I love. That. I love this hat. This hat is amazing. See. Let's see if I can do this with camera. C. V. I almost did it. Oh no. We're losing people. Because we're out of food. No encouragement for our tales of glory will lift the spirits of the caravan. In the north we have times like this, says one of the borrowed. The others giants grin, raising tankards and horns of meat. Scald, they shout, and make short work of their drinks, explaining that each person takes a drink when someone tells a story that is more miserable than the last. Others just join them for the second round and meat is passed your way. Uh, this will only make things worse. Your insistence that clansmen stay sober does not go over well. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Ah, 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 ah. Hurts so much. And more people are gonna die! Arrgh. Arrgh, it hurts so much. Oh, can I help you? Angel, can I help you? Allah, what are you doing on this godstone? <laughs> Got an itch. Right on the under the V. Actually it's right next to it. Godstone of Ingrid, goddess of knowledge, looks on as caravan, takes a much needed rest. Ivor shoes some children away from a solitary dredge slinger lying dead beneath a stone. Should we be worried about that? As you ask, I ever pointed to it. I don't think so. He replied, still couldn't hurt to leave a guard few guards look around. Hours pass without warning. Inspect it. I don't care. Just a bunch of lore. And I honestly don't want to read. You hear screams from near the main godstone, the same way so curious about the judgment before, shrieking and pointing. For a moment you think it must not have been dead, but then you see they have opened a wrapping that was in the dredge hands. Wait. This shouldn't be seen. Get everyone away. A chill sweeps over you. Let's push that. Push past and gas. Stop, shouts Ivor, but the curious onlookers have already seen it. What? What is it? What? Leave it. On the ground before is a small stony finger figure, it hand its hand searching for something it can't find. That's a baby. Wait. That dredge is a woman? We've been killing women, we've been slaughtering women and children this whole time, leaving them to die in the wards that only the males who fight. We've been fighting these dredge the whole way. Why are women with their with children on their backs attacking us? They're not invading. They're running. Excuse me, timer. Oh no, I don't know how long this has been going. Oh no, oh well. Everyone stops dead in their tracks, the entire caravan is gathered around aghast. When I spoke to Juno, she told me she, something was coming. She didn't know what. A darkness, something black is covering the world, and the dredge are running from it just as we're running from them. The serpent, the quake, it's all the beginning of the end. Ivor, you knew? Why? Why didn't you say something? Ivor? When I was young, I killed one of the Sunder during the Second Great War. We called it Rays. Every time we could build our defenses, it would flatten them and push us back again. I became separated from the rest of the Varro and stumbled upon Rays deep in a snowstorm. Alone, she was nursing. I threw my axe. It twisted in the wind. Her son died in her arms. She was so pathetic, kneeling in the snow. She didn't even try to stalk me when I took her head. That's how I killed the Sunder. When I found my way to Grafheim, the Varl went to make me King the Kender, next to be king. I left, walked, I left, walked until I ended up in Skolgar, when no one knew what I had done. The only sound is wind blowing through the trees. That's sad. Giving personality to the bad guy, bad guys. For a long time, nobody says a thing until a child breaks his a silence. What do we do with the baby? She asked. Lump forms in your throat, looking at the small obsidian creature squirming before you. This is a very moral choice you're making me. This is a very moral choice you're making me make, Stoic. I 
Take it with us. Ah, uh, swatting. Its swaddling was being held by this a hairpin that looks distinctly, distinctively, distinctly undredge-like. An inscription on the, from the goddess herself, as if you, from the goddess herself, if you ask me. Almost slips your notice. Persevere. Huh? What? Hmm? Hmm? What? 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 I'm confused. What? Ow, that hurts my mouth. Ow. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Fixed. <coughs> That's how you fix your mouth. You're making the usual rounds when you hear a rather loud debate coming from the area that Varl have gathered. Ivor joins you as you approach. Dun 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 dun. Ulvin, you'd rather be you known for falling asleep and dying in the corner of me house than battling asunder? No, I'd rather be known for not dying. Don't even know what you're talking about. I did this a hundred times in the Great Wars. Take some warriors, but head for the dredge. They follow you into the hills. Get lost. Now they're not following you. When you did this a hundred times, did they have a bellower leading them? Have you never heard about the time I hit bellower in the head with a throwing axe? How uh, you're planning to confront the dredge? Careful, my friend. A lot of old history getting thrown around here. Warriors were just noting that there's a damn good number of dredge on our asses. Bellower pulling up the rear. This one thinks he can just wander up there and throw them off our tracks. How about some gratitude? That that you'd be happy to finally be oldest Varl in the land, Uvin. I'm never happy to lose more Varl, Krumer. Besides, I'm convinced you're old, really older than me. <laughs> ah, that's kind of funny. Nobody's going anywhere. I'm either a little one. I'm not asking for your blessing. In the old days, I'd already be halfway to the battlefield by now. Speaking of which, you coming in, Varl, you could ask Bellifer for your arm back. Don't think so, not exactly in the mood right now. Alright then, I'll tell Hard Hatterborg you said hello. Grimmer and Gunnar. Is he coming back going to come back? He always has before. This time feels different, I fear. Yeah, it's gonna be different. <laughs> he took all the stinking varl. <laughs> Hurts right here. Right here in my heart. A, a gaunt man and woman approached the caravan, hands held high. A word, friends. We are poor farmers, down on our luck. The woman hits him and says, We're outlaws, plain and simple. Ten of us and we'll help you in, in a fight for some food up front. Join. What are your crimes? Meat houses are confusing. Never know when you drink your share. We've stolen, killed a few when we had to. Skills that might. <sighs> Give me a second here. <laughs> okay, I've debated it, and I shall send them away. No. I don't. Just, just having some fun. Tell me. Just tell me, alright. Come on. Send him away. It takes until. Ah, oh, I had no supplies. I had no supplies to be still. <laughs> Man, we're just... Gather around doubters, echoes shout in the distance as Krimmer's band warriors break through... Uh, and behold, the invincible Varro. <laughs> wow. As Ubin work? Did the plan work? As Ubin work? Of course it works. Same old thread. Should be another day or two at least before they even find their own asses. 
Do you apologize? I'll tell you how I found these. Tossing your parallel. I look big enough for a varl. He leans in close with her and so Ugin and can't hear. Had something to do with the raven's nest and the hair tie. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> As Sigurholm approaches, we fear the worst. The once calm lake surrounding it now looks like a bowl that has been flipped. Proud homes sinking into muddy water. A side effect of the quake. What has the rest of the world become on the other side of those mountains? We're done. Okay. That was a very good question. What has the rest of the world become on the other side of the mountains? We already saw Grofheim and I think it was Grofheim in ashes. One catastrophe to another, says our life, as you pull into Sigurholm. It's ta the town appears to be sinking into the lake. Townspeople peek from dark windows and makeshift sure hovels further up the hill. No. Where is she? You run into the front of the car and looking out isn't here and you get the creepy feeling you're not welcome either. Going up- Gosh! Shh! Quiet game! Quiet! You're not gonna- Fine. Uh, the beach is bare aside from the occasional skeleton of a ruined fishing boat. You reluctantly set up camp in the sinking town. All I'm saying is how long are you willing to wait? While taking stock of the caravan you've inadvertently walked into a debate between Odd Life and Ivan. As long as we need to. I think we need to get out of here. I don't feel good about this place. Why? What's wrong? Something doesn't feel right. The people here are staring at us like those vultures in the waste. I'm sorry, Ivan. I think Odd... I'm sorry, Ivan. I think Odd Life is right. I saw a man the whole time we were setting up. He was just... watching me. No, 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 no. Snap out of it. Creepy way. <laughs> How long before the dread find us here? Juno will come. Just give it a little more time. Rook, listen to me. I need you to trust me on this. What do you think, Eagle? Ah, <sighs> market. I may have been a little click happy. Dragonstone? Okay, gotcha. Bloodshed coins, no. <laughs> Rest. Skull is broken out in front of the houses. Thief! shouts one of your people as a group of strangers flee from your camp. Odd Life is already running their direction. They took our supplies. Try to take talk it out with the locals. Tell the camera to get ready to leave immediately. Chase the thieves. Come on, you shout, and some of you will join you, and you wonder, some terse words are exchanged about whether anything had been stolen or not. You don't see who draws the first weapon, but it ends up with conversation dead. <laughs> Give me those flippin' supplies. I want my food back. I'm hungry. I'm extremely hungry. Oh. Jeez. Oh, it's just humans. Oh. Uh. Uh. Dun. 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 And I shoot them. I shoot her. I a shooter with a bow, of course. That's when I get to the road, I think. Oh, jeez. Not even gonna comment on how effective that was. Ineffective, I should say. <laughs> Haha. 
Zap! I love it. Flip and love that zap. And then shoot me for it. Dun 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 dun. No. No. Deflected. And then I, uh, I do a tempest. Why are you all the way back there? Just gonna keep on killing. Alright. It's good seeing you, Jerry. It was good to hear your voice again. It's extremely good. Is there friendly fire? That we're about to find out. No, no friendly fire. And the break of that. This is going a little longer than I think. I don't care, just tempest them. No. Uh, okay, or not. Or, or just break armor. I mean, that looks too. Or it's two, I guess. I should have hit the other dude with it. Actually, no, that may... I think that was a good decision now. See even how much health. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Mark. That was okay, I guess. Not as good as I had hoped. Arc lightning! Yeah, yeah! Arc lightning, yeah! Oh! There is friendly fire! Oh, jeez! Okay, there is friendly fire! Well, now we know! The more you know! There's gonna be an end of this episode here, guys! Hope you enjoyed! Like, comment, subscribe for more videos! I'll see you guys in the next episode! Stay frosty.